What's up YouTube? For tonight I have a full B team and believe me this was a tough battle. Leave them theme team suggestions in the comment section. Go! Our highest loved up comment will be the winner. Um, if you do enjoy this series drop a like on the video too. Make sure you check out that playlist at the end of the video so we're not covering theme teams we've already uh, previously commented on in uh, videos beforehand. So as you can imagine this was completely and utterly it was torture. All of my Pokemon had to hold honey, uh, and uh, they weren't. Uh, the opponents were not behaving themselves, so I was getting six zero. Okay, this is the best battle I had, and it was very entertaining. Okay, so we had a Persian, which does like three quarters of my health there with Fake Out, and I get flinched, and uh, that's the first. Uh, uh, well, this is one is going to go down there, so uh, that's my first combi down. Now, um, I'm going to set out my second combi here. Now, I will explain what my combi sets are, uh, actually were. The, the, the move sets for them were incredibly vast and uh, yeah, just not, like nothing you've ever seen before. Okay, so I actually live that return because I'm, I'm actually a bulky combi. And uh, that does a hell of a lot of damage there with uh, Gust. Okay, so my second oh, is two is going to go down there. So uh, that's all good. Uh, things are going absolutely splendid in this battle so far. Two Pokemon already down on my side already. So we're going for Biz 3. Now, this uh, I think this is where things got interesting. We'll, we'll just see. Uh, so I, I tank out that return. I get minimum damage on the return. That was uh, that was awesome. Now I'm going to go for the Gust here. This is going to do some super duper damage. And I just missed out on the kill on Persian there. And uh, Persian is going to go for a second return. And I live on 9 health. And I took Persian out with the combi. It took me, th it took me 3 combis, but I took Persian out. I'm, I'm feeling pretty proud. So we've got five Pokemon to take out still, which uh, is looking pretty unbelievable. So uh, Bastling's going to come in and use Aqua Jet. Oh man, that's going to take my third combi out. Now, the, the whole idea was every combi had to hold honey, uh, and the Vespa had to hold honey too, so it was, it was fucked. I'm, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I wanted some decent items, but as you know, um, yes, uh, Quickly, I used Mud Slap on this. Now, this little dude was from all the way from 4th gen, so I was able to get a 4th a gen um, Mud Slap, and I was hoping I'd get some scumbag, uh, you know, accuracy drops, but that never happened uh, for the little 4th combi, so this is number 4 is down. So, we've got two Pokemon left. We have this is 5, and we have Vespaquin. Okay, so Baskelin is going to go for Aqua Jet here, and I get fucking critted, and that's uh, this is 5. No, <laughs> fucking this is 5 down. Okay, so lovely, uh, lovely battle we got going at the moment. A real, real solid close one. So our Mummy B's got the pressure going. Uh, Baskin is going to miss due to that mud slap. Woohoo! I'll get that Defender up. So I've got a uh, plus one in uh, defense and special vets. Okay, now I'm not sure if uh, you'd have to be quite an old subscriber to know this, but I have had this Vespaquin set for many, many years, and I haven't actually. I've been very, very unlucky with it. It's, never saw that one coming, but especially unlucky with this set, and um, I wanted to give it another go. Okay, so Licky Licky comes out, and I was wondering, oh, okay, here we go, he's probably, like, toxic or something, or, I don't know, maybe a crazy special set, or physical set. Anyways, I just uh, defend order here, anyways, uh, getting my defense and a special defense another stage. I wasn't really expecting much, I just went for, a, uh, like, a heal order here, just in case it was using some sort of move, but it went for explosion, I'm like, oh, damn, damn son. And that does that does a lot of damage considering I am you know I'm max health. Um, I, I did split my defenses in my special defense and my defense, and I've got a couple of that that would be three defend orders up now. So plus three, and uh, yeah, plus three in the special defense and defense. Okay, now this is where things got interesting. So uh, Luxray is going to come out here and use Wild Charge, and that does shitload of damage. I'm like, oh damn, I'm lucky that's not guts because that did a shitload of damage. Um, I'm just continuing to go for defend order, getting my defenses up first. That's, that was my main goal here. Then I had to get my attack off, which was, holy shit, if you look at that sidebar, you get, look at those combis wings, like, woo! Anyways, uh, a wild charge is going to hit me like a truck there. Uh, that flame orb on the Luxray is just, man, Luxray is being really scary at the moment. I have to try and uh, stall this guy out with heal bell, uh, heal bell, uh, heal order, and uh, yes, hope for no crit. I, generally, I always get burned, poisoned, critted, flinched, Fucked. Any one of those status moves um, happens to this Vesper Quinn. Okay, so that, that is doing a lot still, like heaps. Um, I, I can't really... I thought, bugger it, let's go for another defend order. I, I know that I can... The only way that I'm going to lose this matchup is if I could crit it. I need to get some more up uh, there. So uh, Luxray is losing a lot of health though from uh, Wild Charge and the Burn there. I was 
I was a bit worried it actually had a fire move. And I just hang on on 14 health there. Whoa, that was close, damn. And I was able to get my heal order off here and all my little bees healing me. All those combees, they just, they, they, they didn't faint. They, they just flew up inside of Vespaquin. They, they, they're not fainted. It's, it's, they're, they're not, they're, they're all good. Okay, Luxray gonna go for another wild charge here and it does still a lot of damage considering the boost I've got up. And uh, one more turn, um, you know, with the uh, heal order here and that should be enough for, I should be able to tank out the next one quite easily or maybe start setting up my home claws, which is my last move. So I had all the order moves. I had attack order, heal order, defend order, and I had cone claws. This is my setup I've had for years and years on uh, Vesperwood. And uh, it's the problem with it is it's it's majorly weak to crits because um, by the time you get all these things set up, you're going to get critted once or twice or a hundred times or you're going to get burned, paralyzed, poison, you name it. Okay, so out comes Miss Maggie. So I was a little bit scared with this thing because I was like, oh, it's probably just going to willow with me. But in a bowl I was like, oh, okay, bring on the power hack, so I'm ready for that. It does like nothing to me, obviously, because of all those boosts. So I'm like, oh, okay, let's go for the home claws. There's no will o wisp here. If it does have will o wisp I'm going to cry. <laughs> Anyways, um, so my idea was to get as many home claws up as I could, obviously because, uh, you know, it's not very effective against uh, Miss Maggie's my attack order. So I, get, I need a couple of them up, uh, depending on what Miss Maggie has said is, um, I'm not, I'm like I wasn't sure if it was a, uh, like a sweeping one or a, a tanky one. Anyways, so I actually haven't got parrot hacks yet, which is uh, quite unusual. Keeping them home claws going, and that sidebar is freaking me out, those combi wings. <laughs> Anyways, um, Miss Maggie is going to go, continue to go for another uh, Thunderbolt here, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting there. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting pretty cocky with the home claws here, because I'm like, oh fuck it, let's, let's set up. And get these home claws going. I'll, I, I want to be able to. I want to see if I can, you know, clutch this battle. Uh, more thunderbolts from Miss Magius here. Now I'm going to go for uh, the heal order here. And I was like, okay, so I've got all my health up. This is great. Uh, my little baby combis are going to heal me up. I wish I had some. I wish I had a leftovers instead of fucking honey though. But that's how it is. Um, it, it, um, yes, that's uh, exactly how it is. I was trying to think of a B pun there, but I couldn't come up with another one. Okay, so I went for attack order here, and the executor swaps into my. <laughs> the, the bees just ate him then, <laughs> and uh, executor just get wrecked. And that oh, that was that was four times too. So goodbye executor. Maybe they were trying to set up on a leech seed or something like that. I, I don't even know. I, I wanted to attack at this point anyway because I had a lot of boosts up in uh, my uh, sorry my attack order. Okay, so uh, spamming attack order now. Go my little combis. Dom, 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 dom. <laughs> they, they literally eat the target if you look close. Okay, uh, Miss Magus continue to spam uh, Thunderbolt here. It's it is it generally is surprising that I haven't been critted or paralyzed yet. It, it really is. So Miss Magus is going to go down uh, to this one. So the last Pokemon we have left is Basculin. I think it might be Choice Bandit. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it would be. Uh, we'll just see anyway. Um, I, I, like to the damage on my combis, I was quite uh, certain because I, I made a couple of them tanky, believe it or not. So waterfall, I don't get fleeced either, and I'm finishing off here with the attack order since Vespigan isn't very bulky, and I've got a lot of boosts up on home claws. So Vespigan is, it was pretty much Vespigan sweep in this battle, uh, as I, that was really, uh, <laughs> look at the team match. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bit of fun, some bleepers after this. Enjoy.